All right, guys, we're going to start off with a wrist shot on this Angelus Chronodate Titanium. Awesome watch, amazing case construction, a very well done movement, just a great watch overall. So let me wipe this down real quick. So I think the biggest hang up that I think a lot of people are going to have is the price point. So let's just talk about that real quick. $23,100. Yep. It's $23,000. So get that out of the way. Now let's talk about the watch. So titanium case, obviously awesome lightweight construction. There are some other like precious metal ones. Um, the center part of the case is actually um, carbon. The case construction, I think, is like six components. So they have some flexibility with uh, mixing and matching materials that make the the overall design of this particular case construction uh, very universal, very versatile, quite frankly. So uh, 42 and a half millimeter case width is what I measure. The lug to lug is about 51 millimeter and it wears so much smaller than these measurements even give just because of its lightweight nature and just the overall look of it. It's very sporty looking. Thickness is 14.5 millimeter. You can see you have a box, a, a low level box and a double dome sapphire crystal up top. Also on the bottom, slightly proud of the case back. Actually, we're gonna take this off and we're gonna show it off a little bit more. That's why I wanted to do the wrist shot. But um, if you look at it, it's actually, you know, they had to like space it up off from the case back a little bit to make room for that rotor. Uh, I really like that uh, design feature of this case uh, because it makes it wear a lot thinner and it is you know it keeps it at 14 and a half which if you think about it an automatic chronograph with a running seconds a 30 minute uh you know sub dial and then a pointer date that's relatively thin the lug width is 22 millimeter so if you want to change out the straps you can but the strap that it comes with is uh perfect for this watch absolutely perfect so I think you're going to just wear it on the strap that it comes with if you are so lucky to purchase something like this. The crown is a push-pull crown. It is 7.6 millimeter. Very easy to operate. Very easy to wind this movement. And, uh, you know, adjust the date and the time. Uh, whatever you need to do, you can just bounce it around, whatever you need to do. So... Chronograph, we can go ahead and start that. You have nice, almost like uh, some sort of carbon material for the pushers. Very nice, small, soft, tactile feel to it. It's not a, an abrupt like snap. It's actually very soft. I, th I think this has a horizontal clutch, but it's a column wheel chronograph. And if you look at the movement construction, we'll zoom in on it. It's, it's pretty interesting where the column wheel is and the overall construction. This technically is considered an in-house movement. It was built just for this brand. Has a 30 meter water resist on it. We can zoom in. I don't need to hold it at distance here. I think you guys need to see this up close. There, like I said, there are some other colorways. This one's, you know, a black dial with the gilt colored handset. And also another little trick Check out that pointer date over here. They actually massaged that hand to angle up as that slight chapter ring and then arc back over to kind of just follow the contour of that chapter ring, which is very cool and also keeps it, you know, clearancing and uh, tight to that ring. It's very cool. So the movement has a little over 60 hour power reserve. It beats at four hertz. You can see the smooth sweep of the seconds hand and the sub dial. 26 joules. And like I said, it is a column wheel. You have a, a large A there as their logo on the rotor. If we flip around here, there you go. You can see the column wheel right there. And right underneath it is actually the winding gear mechanism. So part of that structure, which, you know, the way they layered it and stacked it all up and everything is why it's so thin. So it's really cool. All kind of a, 
raw titanium look to it. You can see the proprietary hardware used in the movement on the case back. It has all those like three prong screws um, on the lugs. It's used everywhere. Very custom, very cool looking. I dig it. So if we stop the chronograph, again, very soft tactile feel in the reset. The same, and it instantly snaps back. So very clean and precise on that for sure. Big thanks to the crew at Exquisite Timepieces in Naples, Florida. Nick and the whole crew down there. I will put a link in the description with direct contact information and the uh, it should be a direct link to their website for this brand. There, like I said, there are some other models, but in a modern everyday sports chronograph, this thing is like bonkers. I think it's like perfect. It wears so good. It looks great. Um, it's just you have to be willing or capable of spending that $23,000, which I know there's a lot of people out there that can do that. It might shock you, but there is a lot of people that can actually do that um, in this world. So let's kill the lights, check the loom, beautiful loom on this thing. Just a great, like I said, and like a very solid contender for an everyday type wear uh, chronograph that is just very sporty looking. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.